define. If we take the lines away, the most interesting star, I think, the, the star that could be shocking in our sky is this one, Betelgeuse or Betelgeuse. It's a red giant star. If you put it where the sun is, it would extend out to the orbit of Jupiter. It's enormous. It's very unstable. It's about to explode. The sky that is adorned with stars acts as a window to the incredibly powerful universe we live in. There's a lot happening out there that we on Earth are often oblivious to. Questions arise about our existence. Why are we here? What's the purpose behind stars and galaxies? Could it have been something else, considering the potential impact on us? Typically, we tend to overlook these matters until they become urgent, and it appears that time might have come again. Throughout history, Betelgeuse has been one of the brightest stars in the sky. However, a recent development has disrupted its usual state, causing violent vibrations and sparking something alarming. The famous physicist Brian Cox believes that Betelgeuse has already exploded. Join us as we delve into the details of Betelgeuse's current situation and explore its implications for our universe, space, and time. Betelgeuse stands out from the typical stars. It's among the largest stars ever discovered, surpassing our sun by roughly 20 times in mass, clearly marking its status as a supergiant star. While Betelgeuse may seem like just another distant star from our perspective, its true nature holds profound significance. Positioned over 640 light-years away, this distance, though seemingly insignificant, is monumental in cosmic terms. Even if we could travel at the speed of light, an ability currently beyond our reach, it would take us over 640 years to reach Betelgeuse. Under normal circumstances, bridging the gap would require over 12 million years surpassing the entire duration of human civilization on Earth. This perspective emphasizes the immense power of the singular star. Recently, Betelgeuse has been exhibiting violent vibrations, challenging the perception of stars as serene celestial objects. Contrary to the notion of stillness, Betelgeuse has always been a pulsating red supergiant, undergoing continuous changes. Its expansions make it appear brighter, while contractions result in a slightly dimmer appearance in the sky. These changes in brightness occur over extended periods, ranging from tens to hundreds of days. What's particularly intriguing is Betelgeuse's wide range of luminosity, spanning from approximately 0.5 to a more intense magnitude of zero, a significant difference in the stellar context. These fluctuations follow recurring patterns, with the shortest cycle lasting about 185 days, and the longest extending to around 2,335 days. At times, these variations can also exhibit more periodicity, forming a recorded pattern known as V-band magnitude. In February 2021, it marked one of its lowest V-band magnitudes in recent times, measuring at plus 1.614 while still relatively bright. This departure from Betelgeuse's customary radiance was notable. However, Betelgeuse's significance extends beyond luminosity variations. Its distinctive reddish hue results from a cooler surface temperature of around 3,500 Kelvin, notably cooler than our sun's 5,500 Kelvin. Now, this might seem counterintuitive, considering Betelgeuse's larger size compared to our sun, yet it's cooler, and consequently, the polar opposite of our sun in terms of temperature. The cooler temperature of Betelgeuse results in reduced energy emission per unit of surface area, giving it a perceived dimness despite being one of the larger stars. Despite being a pulsating giant, it has generally remained relatively stable. However, what prompts the recent shift from calm to storm introduces complexity to the situation. A prevalent explanation is that Betelgeuse's helium shell is burning as it evolves through its stellar life cycle. Gradually depleting the core's hydrogen through nuclear fusion, it transforms into helium, a characteristic process for a red supergiant. As hydrogen fusion slows in the core, the star's outer layers expand, causing it to enlarge, marking its transition into the red giant phase. During this stage, helium accumulates in a shell around the depleted hydrogen core. The intense heat and pressure in this helium-rich shell initiate a second nuclear fusion process called helium shell burning. Helium nuclei fuse, forming heavier elements like carbon and oxygen, releasing energy that counters the gravitational force attempting to compress the star's outer layers. However, helium shell burning is less stable than hydrogen fusion in the core, leading to periodic energy buildups and releases, 
steering the star down an unexpected path. Fluctuations in energy output can induce instabilities within the star structure. The heightened energy production prompts the expansion of outer layers, followed by a contraction caused by subsequent energy release. These alternating motions translate into pulsations, resulting in variations in Betelgeuse's brightness over time. The intense energy from helium shell burning can trigger robust stellar winds, particularly in red supergiants like Betelgeuse. These winds carry away a substantial mass from the star's outer layers, contributing to the redistribution of matter and energy within the star and shaping its evolution. During expansion, the outer layers pulsate outward, followed by contraction, resembling rhythmic breaths. This rhythmic pulsation can be likened to the star's heartbeat, observed as changes in luminosity. While it's plausible that this phenomenon is occurring, several steps must be taken to confirm it. Astronomers employ various techniques to unravel the mysteries of pulsating stars like Betelgeuse, with photometry and spectroscopy being pivotal methods. In photometry, astronomers diligently track luminosity changes over time, capturing the star's emitted light at different intervals. As Betelgeuse pulsates, its brightness fluctuates, unveiling insights into the underlying processes driving these variations. This method establishes a direct connection to the star's dynamic behavior, enabling astronomers to monitor the details of its luminous output. Examining a star's emitted light across various wavelengths through spectroscopy provides a nuanced perspective. This method reveals crucial details about the star's temperature, composition, and motion. As Betelgeuse undergoes pulsations, its spectral lines shift and broaden, offering insights into the conditions within its outer layers. These spectral changes become a focal point for understanding the mechanisms driving the star's pulsations. Combining these techniques allows astronomers to construct a comprehensive narrative of a star's pulsation behavior. The luminosity measurements from photometry complement the insights derived from spectroscopy's spectral analysis. This collaboration enables astronomers to unravel the connection between the star's internal processes and the observed luminosity changes, presenting a more complete picture of Betelgeuse's pulsational rhythm. However, delving into a star's inner workings requires an additional step. Astrophysicists utilize computational models to simulate the star's internal dynamics and behavior. These models encompass a variety of factors, incorporating equations governing stellar structure and the intricate interplay of nuclear reactions and fluid dynamics within Betelgeuse's core. Virtually replicating these processes enables scientists to observe how Betelgeuse evolves and its pulsations unfold under diverse conditions. This methodology serves to bridge the gap between theory and observation, facilitating a better understanding of the surface dynamics of the pulsating star. However, the complexity doesn't end there. Deep within stars like Betelgeuse, a natural process called stellar convection may also be at play. This mechanism plays a vital role in transferring the energy generated in the star's core to its surface, maintaining a delicate balance between internal processes and outer radiance. Stellar convection involves the movement of matter within the star in response to temperature variations at the core, where nuclear fusion takes place. The immense heat generated causes the surrounding material to become hotter and less dense. Consequently, the heated material expands and rises towards the star's surface. Simultaneously, cooler material from the star's surface descends towards the core. This continuous cycle of rising hot material and sinking cool material generates convection currents, dynamic flows of matter resembling a celestial conveyor belt, transporting energy from the star's core to its outer layers. The process of convection generates a dynamic environment within the star. As hot material ascends toward the surface, it carries energy along. When this energy reaches the outer layers, it's emitted as light, giving the star a brighter appearance than its actual luminosity. However, the ebb and flow of hot material and convection currents can lead to fluctuations in energy transport. These variations manifest as changes in the star's brightness, resulting in pulsations. As the convection current oscillates between heightened and reduced energy transport, the star's luminosity undergoes fluctuations. Simultaneously, the pulsations could be attributed to other factors, in binary star systems, material transfer plays a role in influencing the lives of the involved stars. In these systems, where two stars are bound by gravitational attraction and orbit each other, 
mass transfer becomes possible. This exchange of material between stars can yield significant consequences, potentially initiating pulsations. In a binary star system, the stars orbit a shared center of mass. Depending on their sizes and distances, one star, termed the donor star, may come into close proximity to its companion, the recipient star. The gravitational interplay between the two stars can result in the transfer of materials from the donor to the recipient. Material is pulled away from one star to the other as gravity comes into play. During this material transfer, several noteworthy events unfold. The inflow of mass onto the recipient star profoundly influences its structure and behavior. The added material alters the recipient star's mass, causing changes in internal pressure, temperature, and nuclear fusion processes. These structural adjustments can induce pulsations within the recipient star. What occurs is that the rapid shifts in the recipient star's structure, triggered by the material influx, disrupt its equilibrium completely. This disruption can lead to instabilities, eventually manifesting as pulsations. The star's outer layers may rhythmically expand and contract, resulting in fluctuations in luminosity. These pulsations emerge as the star strives to establish a new equilibrium among the competing forces, gravity, radiation pressure, and internal nuclear reactions. As the entire process affects every aspect, it significantly influences the evolutionary paths of stars within binary systems. The exchange of material can influence the recipient star's evolution, altering its trajectory and potentially leading it down a different path than if it were a single, isolated star. Throughout historical studies of stars, even supergiant ones like this have always focused on stars being individual celestial bodies. It wasn't common to study how two stars interact with each other, let alone have actual transfers of energy between one another. But this isn't just a theory. This happens, and it's been happening throughout space for centuries. It's just the fact that we now have access to telescopes and research teams that can go in-depth with all the information at hand and find out the truth about what's been going on in our universe. Although there's one explanation for the pulsating that's been front and center this entire time, we've been trying to ignore it. The pulsating might not just be about light. It's possible that the star might just be ready to go supernova and explode, taking everything around it with it. Betelgeuse is currently in the later stages of its life cycle, much like other massive stars. Throughout its existence, it has been engaged in a balance between gravity and nuclear fusion reactions occurring in its core. But the balance doesn't last forever. Gravity, the fundamental force of attraction between massive objects, exerts a potent pull on the matter within Betelgeuse. This force aims to collapse the star inward, counteracted by the star's substantial mass. At its core, Betelgeuse hosts nuclear fusion reactions, converting lighter elements, such as hydrogen, into heavier ones like helium. The energy generated from this fusion creates outward pressure, establishing equilibrium against gravity and preventing Betelgeuse from collapsing under its own weight. Over time, as Betelgeuse consumes its nuclear fuel, the balance between gravity and fusion undergoes a gradual shift. Diminishing hydrogen fuel reduces the core energy generation, leading to a decrease in outward pressure. Consequently, the star's core begins to contract due to gravity's pull. The core's contraction induces a rise in temperature through matter compression. This heightened temperature results in the accelerated movement of particles within the core. This temperature increase initiates a new phase of nuclear fusion involving heavier elements like helium and carbon. These fusion reactions create even denser elements, releasing energy in the process. The transition from hydrogen fusion dominance to helium and carbon fusion signifies a change in the star's evolutionary phase. As fusion progresses, heavier elements are formed, culminating in the creation of an iron core at the star's center. Iron's unique fusion properties, requiring more energy than it releases, disrupt the energy balance maintained by previous fusion reactions, marking a pivotal point in the star's evolution. Iron fusion lacks a net release of energy leading the core to lose its ability to generate sufficient outward pressure. Eventually, gravity prevails, causing the iron core of Betelgeuse to collapse. This gravitational collapse triggers a spectacular event known as a supernova explosion. During this cataclysm, the star's outer layers are forcefully expelled at extraordinary speeds, 
resulting in a dramatic release of energy. Observers from a distance would witness bursts of light throughout the sky. The collapse generates a colossal shockwave racing outward, impacting the star's outer layers with immense force. The energy unleashed during a supernova rivals the brightness of an entire galaxy, outshining numerous stars in the surrounding region. This burst of light and radiation, beyond its visual appeal, offers valuable scientific insights into the extreme processes during a star's final moments. Currently located approximately 600 light years away from Earth, Betelgeuse promises a visible supernova explosion. The entire sky would illuminate brightly, and the effects might endure for days or weeks, depending on the specific nature of the supernova. However, if Betelgeuse were closer, the scenario could shift from a stunning light display to a potential catastrophe. Gamma ray bursts associated with certain supernova, particularly those involving massive stars, are intense events emitting high-energy gamma ray radiation due to extreme astrophysical processes, such as the collapse of massive stars or the merging of compact objects like neutron stars. If Earth were to undergo a direct and potent GRB from a nearby supernova, it would have widespread repercussions. The Earth's ozone layer, a protective shield in the stratosphere that absorbs and filters out a substantial portion of the sun's harmful ultraviolet radiation, could be affected. A formidable GRB might disrupt the ozone layer, leading to its depletion. The intense gamma-ray radiation could dismantle ozone molecules, diminishing their concentration in the stratosphere. This depletion would weaken the ozone layer's ability to block UV radiation. With a compromised ozone layer, more ultraviolet radiation would reach the Earth's surface. UV radiation can negatively impact human health, causing skin damage, elevating the risk of skin cancer, and affecting the immune system. It could also harm marine life, terrestrial ecosystems, and plant growth, causing ecological disruptions. Elevated UV radiation levels due to a weakened ozone layer could lead to higher rates of cataracts in humans. Increased UV exposure could suppress the immune system, making individuals more susceptible to various diseases. Crop growth and agricultural productivity could be affected, with UV-sensitive crops experiencing reduced yields, altered growth patterns, and lower nutritional value. This could pose significant threats to global food security. Additionally, the intense radiation emitted during the nearby supernova such as one from Betelgeuse, could impact Earth's technological infrastructure through the generation of electromagnetic pulses. These bursts of electromagnetic energy can disrupt or damage electronic systems, communication networks, and power grids, affecting everything from consumer electronics to critical systems like satellite communication equipment and medical devices. This disruption could make contacting and reaching healthcare services challenging during medical emergencies. One of the most concerning aspects of EMPs is their potential impact on power grids. Electromagnetic energy could induce currents in power lines and transformers, leading to equipment damage or complete shutdowns. This could result in widespread power outages, affecting homes, businesses, hospitals, and other essential facilities. The interconnected nature of modern technology means EMP-induced disruptions could have cascading effects. Financial systems, transportation networks, emergency services, and other critical infrastructure might be compromised, causing a breakdown of essential services. Until the effects of the supernova pass, the entire Earth would essentially have to come to a standstill, possibly lasting several years. What's even more concerning is that some effects extend beyond direct physical impacts, influencing Earth's atmospheric and climate dynamics. The influx of energy and radiation from the supernova could disrupt atmospheric dynamics, potentially leading to altered weather patterns. Changes in atmospheric circulation might result in unusual weather events, such as shifts in precipitation patterns, temperature anomalies, and unexpected massive storms worldwide. The energy released during a supernova could introduce additional heat to Earth's atmosphere. This could lead to short-term temperature variations affecting local and global temperature gradients. These variations might impact ecosystems, agriculture, and other sensitive environmental systems. High-energy particles and radiation from the supernova could interact with Earth's atmosphere, causing alterations in atmospheric chemistry, including changes in the composition of certain molecules and compounds. These changes could have indirect effects on climate and air quality. 
Considering the existing challenges with climate and air quality in most parts of the world, even a slight push could exacerbate the situation. If hunger doesn't pose a threat first, altered weather patterns and temperature fluctuations could impact agricultural production. Sudden changes in temperature or precipitation might affect crop growth, yield, and timing. These disruptions could also adversely affect food security and supply chains, already under the influence of UV rays. At least we would be aware of what's going on. Complete ecosystems might undergo short-term disruptions due to swift changes in environmental conditions. Species relying on consistent climate patterns and seasonal cues may struggle to adapt to abrupt shifts, affecting wildlife behavior, migration patterns, and reproduction. If these after-effects persist, there's a risk of certain species being entirely wiped out. It's essential to remember that our dependence extends beyond Earth to the space closest to us. The explosion of a massive star like Betelgeuse nearby could lead to a significant consequence, the acceleration of cosmic rays, high-energy particles originating from outer space. Comprising of charged particles like protons and heavy ions, cosmic rays present a radiation hazard to astronauts in space. A nearby supernova's explosion could elevate the number of cosmic rays in space environments, increasing the risk of radiation exposure for astronauts. This becomes a concern for extended missions, such as those to Mars, where astronauts would face elevated radiation levels over prolonged periods. Cosmic rays possess enough energy to interfere with electronic components in satellites and spacecraft. These high-energy particles can collide with sensitive electronic equipment, potentially causing issues like bit flips, data corruption, or even hardware damage. The heightened flux of cosmic rays resulting from a nearby supernova could amplify the risk of these electronic disturbances on a broader scale. Elevated cosmic ray activity could impact observations from space-based observatories. High-energy particles might interact with detectors, potentially affecting the accuracy of data collected. Additionally, stars don't just undergo supernovae. Some can transform into black holes. This involves the core collapsing past a critical density known as the Schwarzschild radius, where gravitational forces prevail, causing the star to collapse into a singularity, an infinitely dense point at the black hole's core. Betelgeuse, with its immense mass, could condense within an incredibly small volume, forming a singularity surrounded by an event horizon. Beyond this boundary, nothing, not even light, can escape the black hole's gravitational pull. If Betelgeuse were to become a black hole, its appearance to distant observers would stay largely unchanged until interacting with the event horizon. Unlike a supernova, which produces a burst of light and energy, the black hole's formation might not yield an immediate observable event. Instead, the transition could be relatively subtle, almost silent. However, if it occurred nearby, the consequences would be anything but silent. They'd be deadly. To begin with, the forming black hole's gravitational pull would subject nearby objects to extreme tidal forces, surpassing anything experienced on Earth. This could result in the tearing apart or disruption of nearby planets, moons, and asteroids due to the intense gravitational gradient, leading to fragmentation and potential collisions. The substantial gravity of the black hole would also perturb the orbits of neighboring celestial bodies, potentially causing chaotic paths, collisions, or in the most extreme case, ejections from the solar system. As Betelgeuse collapses into a black hole, surrounding matter might be drawn towards it, giving rise to the formation of an accretion disk. This disk would heat up and emit intense radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum, including X-rays and gamma rays. The radiation could harm the atmospheres of nearby planets and significantly impact any organisms or ecosystems. The creation of a black hole involves the release of high-energy particles and radiation posing a potential threat to technology, satellites, and passing spacecraft. The intense radiation emitted during the transformation could disrupt or damage delicate electronic systems. The gravitational field of a massive black hole is incredibly strong, given its extreme density and compactness. If a black hole were to form from a star like Betelgeuse in the proximity of our solar system, its gravitational influence could significantly affect the orbits of distant objects such as planets asteroids, and comets. The gravitational force exerted by the black hole would alter the trajectories of nearby objects, potentially causing them to deviate from their original orbits. 
Gravity, being a universal force operating over vast distances, allows any massive object, like a black hole, to influence the motion of surrounding objects. The solar system's orbital dynamics, relying on the delicate balance of gravitational interactions between its components, may be affected. For instance, planets follow stable orbits around the Sun due to their dominant gravitational pull, but this doesn't guarantee immunity from external influences. The existence of a massive black hole in close proximity could disturb this delicate balance. The black hole's influence on orbits might result in objects being expelled from the solar system, colliding with each other, or succumbing to the black hole's gravitational pull. Orbits that were once stable could spiral into unpredictability and chaos under the powerful forces exerted by the black hole. Furthermore, the orbital rearrangements could have far-reaching consequences across the solar system. Changes in the positions of planets and other celestial bodies could disrupt gravitational interactions, jeopardizing the overall stability of the system. While the Sun's gravity remains influential, the introduction of a massive black hole could introduce new gravitational forces not previously present, leading to an unstable solar system, a scenario that essentially means a collapse of life as we know it. Fortunately, Betelgeuse is not located right next to Earth. It resides at a considerable distance. This implies that when the star undergoes a supernova or transforms into a black hole, most of us won't be aware of the situation until things return to normal. But what's your take on this? Would it be a dazzling supernova display or a potentially destructive black hole? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, we'll catch up with you in the next one.